Alrighty, hello guys, Token Me Faces back to another Stonework Search and Destroy video. Today we are checking out five awesome creations that are on the workshop. These aren't necessarily the top five or the worst five, they are just five creations that I've seen and that I actually really, really like. So um, we're starting with this thing right here called the Robin. Uh, it is a little, uh, a little gunboat, I guess you'd call it, um, with a big fan on the back that pushes us along. I've always wanted to build one of these, but I've never been very good at building, so that's why I haven't. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing moving. We'll test this thing out first, and then we'll move on to some other really cool creations. Let's get on with it. Alrighty, okay, so we need to actually start this thing up. So let's go ahead and do the engine start. There we go. Backlights, yes. Navigation lights, yes. Uh, and I guess we can just go, presumably. I don't know if we can just go, but let's try. WNS is collective. Let's go. Yeah, all right, nice. So the problem we usually have with these, because the propeller's so high, um, usually it pushes the, the boat down into the water, and that doesn't really work too well. However, in this situation, it actually looks pretty good. It looks really good. Uh, we have a lock throttle button, so we can actually let go of the keys if we wanted to, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can also master arm, which makes the guns pivot down, and then we can shoot them. That's actually pretty sick. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. I didn't think it was going to be like that. I did not think it was going to be like that. All right, master arm off. There you go, back to pointing in the air. That's awesome. We get our reload right there. We can actually reload with that. Uh, we've got some spare seats in case we need them. That's sick. This is actually really, really cool. Well thought of. Well thought through. That's what I meant to say anyway. That's what I meant to say. But um, yeah, this thing is actually really, really awesome. Um, I don't think it would function very well in high waves, but that does make sense. It's not really for them. So we'll go with 25%. I think it could deal with 25%. Uh, anything more than that, I would say probably a bad idea. Let's go to 50. Let's go to 50%. It might just deal with all of them, to be fair, but in fact it is. It's just going to deal with all of them. That's pretty crazy. In fact, that's really, really crazy. Yeah. What? Diggity dog. All right, let's just go to 100. See if it can deal with that. Go, go, go. Nah, it, it, I mean, this thing's incredible. <laughs> it's crazy. It's actually crazy. I feel like it will go off balance eventually, but for right now, it's awesome. It is super cool. Anyway. Um, there's not really too much more to show you guys with this thing for right now. Uh, I guess we could attack something if we were doing a full video on it, but uh, we're not. We're just doing a little showcase and seeing what they're like. Also, if I press 2, I believe we can launch flares? Flare Master Arm. How do I actually launch the flares? I, I don't know. If I press 2, the Master Arm for the flares is on, but it doesn't fire them. I don't know how you fire the flares. I don't know whether there's anything on here that makes me fire them. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't know how you... Well, maybe we need this too. Oh, there you go. Okay, you need that as well. Interesting. But yeah, this is a cool boat. You guys should definitely check it out. Uh, and I'll link it down below if you guys want to see it. Anyway, let's move on to the next one, shall we? Okie dokie. So our next creation is actually this thing right here. It's called the Rotodyne. And these things became very, very popular on the workshop not that long ago. Because there was a mustard video done on them. And uh, everybody decided... Yeah, that's actually a really cool thing to build, and everybody built one. Um, but yeah, this thing is designed to carry passengers. It's designed as sort of a helicopter plane hybrid, and um, apparently it was actually quite good. Um, but then funding ran out, and they didn't build them. I mean, they built prototypes, but they didn't actually end up in commercial service. But uh, these things are actually really cool. Um, this one was built by Captain. We're going to go ahead and try and, uh, try and fly this thing now, so... It's going to be kind of interesting, because I don't really know how this is going to work. Um, but yeah, we're going to just try and start it. Ground idle, yes. I don't know what all these F buttons are, but that's fine. Go ahead and start the turbines and see if it works. So in real life, in real life, I don't know why I can't speak. In reality, these things had tiny little uh, jet engines on the end of the propellers on the top. Uh, but obviously you can't do that in Stormworks, so it's probably why it's not in this. I don't know what all these F keys are, so I need to figure that out. <laughs> I do need to figure that out. Uh, let's release the bike brake and press F1. I don't know what that does. I need to figure this out. Okie dokie. So apparently we press 1 to actually go forwards. Here we go. There we Yeah, that's nice. Okay, excellent. And then we're going to try and go into the sky. Now, it should be able to take off vertically. Um, so that's a thing. I just don't know how it works in this thing. So 
We'll turn on the lights and everything. Beacons, nav lights, yes. Uh, we have an APU up there, but I didn't even see it to begin with. Uh, I feel like we should stop real quick. Hang on, because we're going to crash, and that's not good. One sec. Okie dokie. So the reason I wasn't taking off is because we actually had ground idle on, because that's how you actually start this thing. But that's okay. So if we go in and we press this. Okay, amazing. And we press 1. We should be able to fly in a straight line, which would be amazing. There we go. Excellent. Uh, this thing actually comes with an attachment on the workshop as well that allows you to pick up containers. So if you really wanted to do that, you could, um, which is awesome. Um, is there a gear button? There must be a gear button somewhere. I just don't... There it is. Gear selector. So we can actually lift that up into the hull and, uh, yeah, fly around. This thing's sick. I actually really like the, the, the way this works. It is a cool creation. It is. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and fly over to an island and try and land there. Because I feel like that's kind of a cool idea. Let's just fly over to this island right here. Uh, and we'll try and do a landing on it. Because that's what this thing's all, all about. So, we go ahead and press 2. That should slow us down forward momentum wise. We're going to go ahead and put our landing gear down. We're going to turn ourselves around. And we're going to attempt to land on this island. Also, what is this island? You can build here? Hang on a second. Oh, it's been ages since I've been here, I think. Yeah, you can build on this island. That's pretty sick. Anyway, we're going to go down. Uh, and we're going to land right on here. That is amazeballs. That is amazeballs, guys. We've done it. We've landed. I don't think I've quite turned off forward momentum. But there you go. Parking brake is on now. Amazing. This thing's cool. I would do more in-depth videos on this, but we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. If you guys want to check this out, it's linked below. Okie dokie. So this is our next creation. This thing right here is a bucket wheel excavator. As you guys can see, these things are like the biggest machines in the world uh, in real life. And here we have a tracked version that is going to go down into the quarry. Now, there is a problem here. Uh, I haven't turned AI off uh, and we are next to an AI base. So that's a thing. It might be a bit tricky here, but we'll see. Anyway, let's go ahead and get in the driver's seat and see what we can do, shall we? So, uh, we got two compact pilot seats. Don't know how you drive this thing. No idea. But let's see what we can do. Throttle lever. Can we drive it? I mean, we are moving it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we can actually drive it down into the quarry. Interesting. This thing is sick. It looks awesome. Okie dokie, so we're actually going to go ahead and send it down this hill a little bit. I don't know whether we can actually control this at all. I'm I'm trying to turn it left, but we keep going right, so it's going to be tricky. But we're going to continue to go down the hill. It does seem to be controlling itself. Let's jump in this seat and see what this does. So this one seems to have stopped it from moving. Uh, maybe it's just because we aren't in this one. Alright, lift it up. I don't know how you control the actual digging part of this. I really want to know. How do we do it? How do we do it? How do we do it? I don't know. It actually has water cannons on it as well. Look up here. It's got water cannons. Interesting. Cool. Okay, so apparently this thing is actually work in progress. Uh, and, I mean, it's cool enough. It doesn't need any more progress. Let's be real. This thing is pretty awesome. Uh, is there a way to crew... Oh, how do I get out of the seat? I don't know how you get out of the seats here. We've got nothing that tells us, like, how to turn anything on. So I don't know whether it spins at all. I feel like it should, but I've got nothing that does anything here uh, on this one. Oh, wait, look at this. One second. Oh, wait, was that just me turning the tracks? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. I can't seem to lift it up or down or anything like that. If I press one, it starts an engine. I've pressed lots of buttons, and I can't seem to do anything with it. So, I don't know whether it actually goes up or down. Interesting. Yeah, so at the moment, it feels like this thing can only drive. Well, anyway, that's okay. Let's have a little look around instead of uh, doing that. So right here, we've got a little bit of a cable thing. I don't know what you would use that for. Uh, it's actually getting to night time, so it's getting dark. I thought this thing would have lights. I think it does somewhere. But, um, yeah, I mean, look at... What the? Okay. Can I, can I climb this? Heck, yeah, I can. Whoa! Okay, so it's got, like, a conveyor belt down the middle. That's sick. Wow, the amount of thought that's gone into this is crazy. And you can actually climb all the way up to the top of it as well. That is insane. That's so cool. I love it. I love this thing. But yeah, not much you can actually do with this thing at the minute, but um, it's worth a go. You guys should definitely check it out. It's linked down below. Hang on one second. I can see in the pictures that it is actually, like, tilted. And I don't know how you do it. 
I don't know. I don't know how you do it. I've got no idea how you do it. Oh, I really want to know, though. I really, really, really want to know. Do I just hold the key? Maybe I hold the key. No? I don't think it's doing anything. I don't think it's doing... I want it to work so bad. I want it to work so, so bad. I don't know how you do it. Okay, so after some further investigation, if you actually go up to here, you can actually see that there is an extra room. So if you are digging with the bucket, you would go up to here and you'd be able to do it from here. Deploy feet. There we go. Feet have been deployed. And then, I don't know what this does. Oh, it actually spins the bucket. Amazing. And then in reality, we should be able to lift this up and down, but... Oh, there we go. So we can turn it and we can lower it down. That is sick. That's actually so cool. That is really, really cool. Um, I have broken it by accident, but you know, it's still cool. <laughs> yeah, no, this thing's awesome. But yeah, again, not very much we can actually do with this thing, but you guys should definitely check it out. All right, this is our next creation, and it is actually a plane. This thing's called Glido the Plane, and I it has an engine, but it is, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's jump inside this thing and see what, what the... Okay, um, I don't know how you do any of this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, Max, oh god, okay, right, okay, I didn't mean to click Max. It looks like hacks, so I wasn't sure. Land, idle, oh, this is actually pretty sick. It's got its own little, little computer for landing and taking off and stuff. That's actually pretty sick. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and play this thing around. Um, I'm going to find the workshop page and see if there's anything about it, but, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty cool, isn't it? I like it. Okay, so I haven't actually seen anything on the workshop page, so we're just going to go ahead and fly back around. Uh, and we're going to land using the land thing on here, and maybe that'll be fine. So, there we go. We've turned the land feature on. We're going to see if we can land at this speed, and then I guess we just turn it up or idle if we want to land. That's pretty cool. I like that feature. That's actually such a sick feature. Nice. Alright, so we're actually going in, and uh, yeah, we're going to try and land this thing. There is a lights menu as well. Okay, interesting. So we get strobe lights, landing lights, and a cockpit light. We've also got other, which is our speed. We can change it to miles an hour, kilometers an hour, or knots. Wow, okay. That is actually pretty insane. We've got a gyro on this thing as well. we got landing gear. Wait, what does that do? Oh, the landing gear actually folds up on this thing. That's sick. Alright, well, we're wanting to land this thing, so... There you go. We got a tilt thing right there as well. I don't know what that does, to be fair. Um, but yeah, we are we are on the ground. We landed. Off. All right, if I turn the engine off, it just stops. Yeah. I don't know how fuel efficient this thing is. Uh, I really don't know that, but I would assume pretty. Yeah. Oh, okay, right. The tilt is actually for the screen. That, that makes sense. Okay, well, we can do that. Uh, lights, that's all good. Engine, we got the idle RPS, so we can actually turn it up or down if we want to. The stats of the engines right there, that is sick. I actually really, really like this thing. Uh, and if you guys do too, you can check it out. Link down below. And I guess this is our final thing. This is actually a JU-87 Stuka dive bomber, and apparently it has the siren. I don't know how they've done it, but apparently it has one, so that's cool. Uh, how do I close the, the, the canopy? That's the first thing I really want to know. Uh, is What's that, brakes? Oh no, it's all in German again. Position lights... Okay, landing lights, presumably, is what that is. Instrument lights, battery. I don't know what a, I don't know what that is. Magneto, okay. Is it, is that the starter? Is the, okay. Okay, I don't know. I feel like that's the starter, but I could be wrong. Oh god, I don't know. How do I start the engine, guys? Is it this one? What is that even powering? I can hear a propeller going, but I don't know where it is. Uh-oh. I think that's the starter. It's just not working. Why isn't it working? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Oh, okay, right. So this is a starter, and then this is the starter clutch. So we have to hold it until it starts. And then once it starts, we need to, to turn it on. I think. There we go. All right, interesting. I know how to do it now. Turn that off. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. 
That's actually pretty sick. All right, press three. Oh, God. Okay, right. I took off really badly there. I'm sorry, but I did. Uh, but yeah, now we're in the sky. Are the flat? Is that just built like that? It is. It's just built like that. Okay, so we're flying a Stuka dive bomber. Interesting. Very interesting. Bombs away. All right, we got a bombs away button. We're going to go ahead and press it in a second. Uh, I guess we'll do it straight over the island, because why not? Uh, and yeah, we should should blow some stuff up. That'd be great. Okay, here we go. Flying over the right place. Let's go ahead and pull ourselves up into the sky. Okay, and then dive on down. Do, 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 do. It doesn't really dive. I feel like I've got some sort of... Um... That's sick. I mean, the bomb didn't explode, but that's sick. It actually has a siren. That's awesome. That's so, so cool. How do I fire these things? I've got machine guns, apparently. I can't seem to fire them, but that's fine. Um, yeah, landing lights, let's turn those off. Why can't I fire the machine guns? Not working. I'm pressing space, it's not doing anything. No! Two. Okay, let's press like six, seven, eight, nine, zero? No? All right, none of that did anything. Okay, interesting. Let's get to the rear gunner, shall we? Gunner seat. I can't shoot this one either. Oh, because guns are disabled. That's why. That's why weapons are disabled. There we go. It's probably why the bomb didn't explode as well. You can shoot your own plane. Just saying. That's fine. Uh, what's in there? We've got fire extinguisher. We've got a welder as well. Interesting. Back to the pilot seat. Yes, that's sick. All right, and then if we press all the other buttons. I don't know how to launch these things on the wings. Oh, you just press five again. Interesting. That's sick. That is actually awesome. This thing does actually have a use in this game because you can attack, um, you can attack warships and stuff with it if you wanted to, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, I think I might end up using something like this again, maybe even this creation, we'll see. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Remember, all the creations are actually linked down below, and if you guys did like the video, please like the video as well, that would be pretty awesome. And if you guys aren't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.